Hi, I'm Dave Carger. Thanks for joining me today here on TCM. In the 1930s and 40s, Edward G. Robinson became synonymous with tough, uncompromising movie gangsters. But our next film gave him a chance to spoof that famous image. From Warner Brothers in 1942, it's a comedy called Larceny, Inc. The story follows an ex-con who teams up with some former cellmates to open a luggage store in order to secretly break into the bank that's next door. But their plans for a heist become complicated when their luggage business unexpectedly takes off. The movie was based on a 1941 play called The Night Before Christmas, and the original Broadway production only played for 22 performances, which allowed Warner Brothers to buy the film rights for very little money. Director Lloyd Bacon wanted Edward G. Robinson to play the lead. Bacon had recently directed Robinson in two comedy crime capers, A Slight Case of Murder from 1938 and Brother Orchid from 1940, co-starring Humphrey Bogart. Fortunately, Robinson was happy to poke fun at his earlier hard-nosed gangster image, and he jumped at the opportunity. And while the movie was not a huge hit when it was first released, it's now a great example of film parody and one of the few comic performances from one of Hollywood's legendary tough guys. From 1942, co-starring Jane Wyman, with a cast that also includes Broderick Crawford, Jack Carson, Anthony Quinn, and a brief appearance from a young Jackie Gleason. Here is Larceny, Inc. Larceny, Inc. was Edward G. Robinson's last picture as a contract player for Warner Brothers, the studio that made him a star and shaped his image in the 1930s and 40s. After completing this film, Robinson volunteered to serve in World War II, but he was 48 years old at the time, and his age disqualified him from military service. But that didn't stop him from championing the Allied forces and doing all that he could in the fight against fascism. He soon went to work for the Office of War Information in London, where his ability to speak at least seven different languages allowed him to deliver radio addresses that were broadcast to Nazi-occupied countries across Europe. Up next, Glenn Ford, Gene Crane, and Broderick Crawford star in a Western from MGM in 1956.